everyone, Emma is here and another video from my video course Piano Well. I uh, want to share with you very, very important information um, about common mistakes among pianists. Um, what I've noticed, and I actually struggled with this myself, like a long time ago, that after we press the key, we would still continue um, pressing it, or we would keep the tension, keep this energy in our hands instead of releasing energy. So we would press the key and then we would still, you know, carry, carry all this energy and that would lead to stiff wrists and stiff hands and that would really slow down technique and influence our tone in a bad way. The tone would become harsh, you know. Um, so what I'm trying to say that uh, the whole idea, one of the aspects of correct tone production is when we press the key and then we release the tension. Then we get enough energy again to press next key and then we release energy again. So this is the whole point, then you can play everything with ease and um, good fluent technique. Uh, just don't get me wrong when I'm saying release the energy. I'm not saying that we need to play with loose hands. There is always a certain amount of energy, good energy, good healthy energy that we need to convey our ideas, that we need to use to convey our ideas on the instrument. But uh, we really have to get rid of unnecessary excessive tension in the hands after we already play the key. Because that that doesn't benefit us in any ways and they just block this good healthy energy that we need to use to express ourselves while playing on the instrument. So, um, in my opinion, the, uh, there are two reasons of this excessive tension in the hands. Uh, the first one is from the bad habit to simply keep uh, this energy, keep this tension after we press the key and that might come from um, our previous teachers uh, who might, you know, fix expressiveness in our performance through bringing some like additional tension and because they don't really express, they don't really explain how to play more expressive uh, they simply you know, gives us this very blurry sensation that, okay, we need to, you know, play with more tension, <laughs> then the music will be more expressive, but that's not, that's not how it works. Um, that's why we might carry this, you know, tension from our past, uh, past experience to simply play with, um, always on the peak of our energy, on the peak of our tension to play expressive. Um, another reason, and this is I think the main reason, is that uh, we would simply have to tense our hand not to slip off from the keyboard. And that happens because uh, we don't have good developed active fingertips that would let us stay on the keyboard uh, with completely relaxed hand, like nothing at all. And uh, this um, sensation of fingertip that I'm talking about, it's quite hard to explain. It took me, you know, some time to really like, okay, how I'm gonna explain this sensation. Um, I would compare this sensation with, you know, like you having some kind of glow on the tip of your finger. But this is not, of course, the, the sharp claw that we have with like birds and animals, but uh, it's just kind of spot, a very tenacious spot on the fingertip that let us uh, take uh, the key and, you know, like catch the key and simply hold on it while playing. You know, so basically it's kind of this movement that I'm doing inside my finger. <laughs> I'm not doing this like uh, literally while, while I'm playing, but it's like inside of my fingertip, this claw. <laughs> and uh, I already told before how to develop this fingertip. You 
uh, in my opinion you can do this through sound imagination because everything is energy and um, if I would simply tell you you know activate your fingertips make it more t tenacious then um, you you will not understand the feeling so it's all about feelings right so feelings comes from energy and energy comes from our mind that's why I always say that we develop fingertips when we develop sound imagination as soon as we imagine sound the energy transfers uh, through our body through our arm to the fingertip so now let me tell you more if you keep this unhealthy energy um, while playing then you simply prevent that healthy energy goes to your fingertips so you may imagine everything in your head but um, because of this excessive tension nothing reach your fingertip and your fingertip become still empty you cannot develop any fingertip so uh, two things imagine sound feel this energy feel the texture of sound and keep your hand relaxed and even i know if you don't have fingertip if you relax your hands you would probably go down but still try to do still still try to keep your hands as sleepy as relaxed as possible all the tensions should be here should be here when we intonate and sing and on the our tip of our fingers and uh, from my experience i should say that uh, it took me, after I realized that I should really relax my hand, um, it took me six, around six months to get uh, these full sensations of fingertips in all of my fingers. First, they, if this sensation appears on the second and third fingers in both hands, then on the, this weak fingers, fourth and fifth finger, and then on the thumb. And that was weird because first it appears on my left hand thumb, and then on my right hand and I'm like a right hand person so <laughs> I don't know so we always play don't forget we always play with the tip of finger of our thumb so we could develop even fingertip on our thumb so I can uh, simply hold hold on the keyboard with the tip of my thumb and completely relax my hand yes. And of course, when you already develop your fingertips, it's so easy to play. You don't even need, you know, to remind yourself to relax your hand. It would be, you don't, because you don't need to tense your hands to stay on the keyboard, <laughs> because everything in your fingertips. But to get there, you first need to let go this energy and imagine sound and develop these fingertips. <laughs> So I really um, thought that it's very, very important information to share with you guys today. Um, as I said, um, it's very common mistakes and sad to say that I couldn't find that any teachers would talk about this, so <laughs> that's why I think this video is very important. Okay guys, keep dreaming, keep practicing and be successful. <laughs> See you next video, bye!